Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of 3.4.6, which is our final installment of this endangered animal series that we have been doing. So there is starter code for this. Make sure you grab it from Schoology. It's some of the code that we've already written together in previous endangered animals assignments. And also I went ahead and I added the pictures for you for this particular lesson activity so you didn't have to go and find them. So you can see that we've got our list that we've been working on and also a picture of each of the animals on our list. I also formatted the pictures in the style tag to be 300 pixels tall because when I first added them, they were really big and hard to see. So what we're going to do now in the assignment directions is it tells us that each image is going to have an ID and the ID is going to give each of the pictures a different border style. And it tells us we can look at docs to see the different border styles. So I'm gonna start off with doing that. I'm gonna to go to docs. And then I can come over here to CSS properties on the right and I see border. And if I click there, it tells me about border style here, part way down the list. Um, which is, oh, here it is, border style. We've got solid, dotted, dashed, and double. So those are the four borders that we will be using. And I'm going to just use those as the names of the ID to make it easier to remember what is what. So I'm gonna come to line 27 within my style tag and hit enter to make a new line. I'm gonna use the number symbol and my first ID is going to be for a solid border. So I'm gonna name it solid and type a curly bracket and hit enter. To create my border style, I'm gonna type border hyphen style, same way as it's shown in the assignment directions and then my colon and for this one, I said I'm doing the solid border so I will type solid. I click at the end of line 30, hit enter. I'm going to make my next ID double. Type my curly bracket. So this time I'm going to do border style colon double. I'll click at the end of 33 and hit enter to make my next one which I'll make dotted. Order style dotted. And then I'll create my last one. Bashed. Order style. So now I've got an ID set up for each of the different border styles that I'm going to apply. If I come to my output and refresh, nothing happens because I haven't applied these IDs yet. So I'm going to apply them the same way that I have been applying all of my classes and IDs up until now. I'm going to scroll down and because these borders are going to be added to the images, I'm going to find all of my image tags. So I see my first image is on line 51, and where we put styling for an image inside of an image tag is actually between the IMG and the SRC. So I wanna have space on either side of my cursor here between those two when I'm typing, and I'm going to make it say ID equals, and this one will be my solid border. So if I refresh now, you can see that a border has been added to this picture. I'll come down to my next picture on line 59. Between IMG and SRC, I'm gonna type ID equals double. My next image is on line 67. So with space on either side of my cursor, I'm typing ID equals dotted. 
And then my last image on line 75, we'll say ID equals dashed. I come over and refresh and then scroll down, I can see my solid border. I can see my double border, my dotted border, and my dashed border. So it looks like everything applied correctly. I'll click Submit and Continue, and everything is a green check, so I'm good to submit. We have 